All right, thank you. Um, looking forward to hosting the second annual visit Knoxville Collegiate this weekend at Tennessee National. Uh, we've got a really good field growing off the first year and the reputation that the tournament and the golf course got. Have 12 power four teams and Washington State and Oregon State aren't here. So that's all of the power four teams. Um, we're looking forward to it. We got a young team, had a great qualifying session and uh, anxious to see how we stack up You go back to last year's, you all won that inaugural. Three three new members of the lineup this year, though. So what do you like about this year's team, and how do you feel like they've been playing leading up? I think scores in qualifying this week have been lower than they were last year. Uh, I think the guys had a really good summer. Last year was kind of a iffy summer heading into the, into the uh, fall. This year we had really, really good summer. Lance and Jackson especially, both uh, ranked inside the top 100 in the world now, and both started the year outside the top 1,000. So. They're peaking um, and excited to kind of take over the team after Bryce and Jake's departure. And they've been here since day one. So first tournament uh, at my time at Tennessee without Bryce and Jake. And I feel like the guys have started to grow up a little bit and have a little bit more room and freedom to take on some leadership roles. Brian? Y'all had pretty steady improvement so far during your tenure. What gives you confidence y'all can keep building with some of those losses? Yeah, I think what we uh, have proven over the time here is that what we're doing and what we're asking of our guys and what they've taken on, it works. Uh, we haven't taken any steps backwards, always improved uh, our ranking from the year before with, uh, you know, many times when everyone thought we were going to take a step back when a couple guys left here and there. So I think we just continue to do what we've been doing. The guys have bought into the culture of what the program has become and uh, just excited to keep proving people wrong. Hey, Coach, what does it mean being able to host this tournament in your own backyard? Yeah, it's an exciting opportunity for us. Obviously, we're not, you know, the biggest uh, fan base on campus. We all understand that, but we do have some fans. And so it's exciting for them, to, for our guys to be able to play in front of those people and then for our local guys to be able to play close to home and have their parents come and make it an easier trip than normal. And then just to kind of give back to Tennessee National for all that they've done for our program since I've got here. It's, been, uh, it's just been an exciting time the last two years and really looking forward to it again this weekend. Coach, you, everybody talks about the camaraderie between the head coaches on campus. Tony's group just kept knocking on the door in Omaha and finally kicked the door down. You all have now been to the, the national tournament you know, two times in the last four years. How much can you – take that experience and reiterate it to your team of just let's just keep giving ourselves a chance and, and see what happens. Yeah, it's funny you asked uh, last year after Caleb left at Christmas, obviously kind of a, you know, a shock to all of us and something that we needed to get over and get over quickly. And uh, first person that I had come to speak to the team that January was Tony. Uh, we talked about that team the year before that uh, everyone expected to do well and then lost to Notre Dame here. And just kind of what the difference was in the team that actually got there and the team that didn't. And we took some of those lessons to heart. Guys bought in. And obviously, you had a great year last year without Caleb, even with Caleb leaving at Christmas. So there's been a lot of coaches that helped me here. Probably my greatest resource is the coaches on campus. After the disappointment of two years ago, I sat down with Karen Weekly for an hour and a half, and she kind of told me some of the things that she had to change in her career, and I try to implement some of those lessons. And so I'm thankful for all the great coaches here. And uh, like I said, probably my best resource as a coach trying to get better. Coach Jackson comes in, makes the roster in his first tournament. What have you seen from him just coming in throughout this summer as a true freshman? He obviously built a whole lot of belief this summer with the results he had. Uh, won the state open, the youngest person to ever do that. Then to make the Sweet 16 at the Western Amateur, which is probably the hardest amateur tournament in the world, to do that before you get on college campus is pretty extraordinary. And so he's just got a whole bunch of belief. He's got the mindset that he's you know, going to go be a first-team All-American this year and, and dominate, and uh, that's what we need. Brennan, extension for Danny White. Obviously a lot of success in the entire athletic department. Can you talk about your relationship with Danny and how he has helped give you guys the resources you need to succeed? Yeah, I think it's no secret that uh, things picked up when Danny got here. Um, everything that we've asked for and wanted, you know, the guy wants to win, and there's ne never a doubt about that. And it's a great feeling for a guy that's coaching golf, which obviously I understand we're not the, you know, the, the big money revenue sports, but to have somebody that still just wants to win in golf. And I think if he didn't want to win, he would just wouldn't have that sport. And so I think that it's a 
especially in this day and age, it's, it's a rarity to have that support for a program that isn't a, isn't a revenue generating program. And so it makes us feel great, makes our guys feel great, like they matter, uh, the confidence and the camaraderie amongst the student athletes and the coaches, and understanding just what Tennessee is. And uh, Danny and his, and his people have brought that here for sure. And um, looking forward to continuing to work for them. All right, thank you all.